hypnotist, celebrity, psychic, medium, Tony Green. Um, I'm here with another show for you. So I want to start out with a little bit of, um, first I want to say if you'd like to call in, the call in number, if you have a question you want to ask, if you have um, a uh, loved one you would like to connect with, please call in the numbers 845-277-9131. Three one. Also, um, happy holidays for those of us celebrating the holiday today. Now, I am hyper vigilant of everything I am saying today because I was talking to a friend of mine, Peter G. He does um, the Peter G. Show, and <laughs> through the whole conversation, he kept. <laughs> I think this is funny. You guys are probably not going to find humor in this. He kept going, celebrity psychic, celebrity psychic medium, Tony Green, psychic medium, Tony Green. And I'm like, hey, Peter, he's like, well, that's how you, that's how you say it on your, on your stuff. I'm like, no, it's not. He's like, yes, it is. And he was I was laughing so hard. I was just totally cracking up because I'm like, no, Peter. And then I go, really? Is that what I sound like? He's like, well, don't you? I'm like, no, I never go back and listen to my own. I never go back and listen to my shows because I, would, I wouldn't I would be able to be on air, to be honest. I, I, I wouldn't. I would be like, oh my gosh, that's what my voice sounds like. Oh my gosh, that's what my singing sounds like. Oh my gosh, that's how I do a show. What is wrong with me? So um, Peter, thank you for pointing that out and making me hyper vigilant. <laughs> um, you guys, though, let me let me say this. If you if you know, Peter runs a really amazing show. And every week, it's a little bit different. So one week, he'll have a psychic medium on. I was on his show. Another week, he'll have a call-in where you can just vent about what's going on in the world. Another week, he'll have a guest on like he had this um, this show where there was a, um, I want to call her a spy, but it was a in private investigator on. Sometimes he has authors on. Um, one of his authors was um, a, an author um, who wrote a book about um, narcissists and such. I think he's had a couple of those on. Um, and then, of course, he had Marla, the mystical matchmaker on, which was really awesome. I connected the two of those. Um so he has all different types of guests all and every week his show is just a little bit different so if you haven't seen his show yet it's the peter g show you should go check it out it's pretty good um okay i want to say hi to everybody online on the chat who has been here and i was running a little late this morning i'm sorry everybody so we have um my eyes are so funny right now. So we have Terry. Hey, Terry, we're going to do a clearing for Terry in this and everybody listening. And this one hits me because I am kind of, when I saw this request, I was like, oh, that's so good for this day and time. It really was such a good request for a clearing and or healing. And it's for loneliness. And we are lonely. I get a yes. Let's clear, heal, release that. All that caused and kept us has healed, cleared, and released. I get a no. About two to three years ago, our world really, really changed. And um, things just have not been the same since. As far as people going out, I've tried to set up a couple of events. And, you know, it, it's just people are just not, it's just not the same. And I get it. I get I get where we are. I get where the world is. I don't ever want anyone to think that I'm on here and um, I'm not completely comprehending all of it. I am. Trust me, I am. And it it is very difficult to connect right now with people. Sometimes it's extremely difficult to connect um, because everything has changed so much. But just 
we have to stay in faith. We have to stay in that place where we are strong and moving forward and um, at least connecting with those right around us. Fawn is here. Um, Heather asked if we could do a clearing or a healing for money. And I said, absolutely. And let's get that started now. Oh. And I want to do a really big one for money. So if you guys on YouTube are loving this, please give me yes, high fives, hearts, whatever you want to send me on YouTube. I want to do a huge money one. So I'm going to take a moment to do this. So anybody listening, uh, watching, Anybody re-watching the show, whether it be on TV, a podcast, or a um, radio station, this will affect you. And every single time you watch this, it will clear away more or open the, open the, the gates more. So we're going to start with um, money comes to me freely. I get a no. We're going to clear, heal, release that. I am receiving money on a daily, weekly, and and monthly basis. I get a no. We're going to clear, heal, release that. <laughs> Large sums of money come to me now. I get a no. I want everybody listening to think of a number, just a number you want in your bank account. We are comfortable with this number. I get a no. Now, I want you to think of another number because the first number we give is either really high or what we normally think we just, I just need this to get through. Now, I want you to think of the number you want, and it doesn't have to be an exact number. It doesn't have to be, I want uh, one, $100,999. It doesn't have to be like that. I, I want millions of dollars. I want uh, $500,000, whatever it is um, that you would be comfortable what's that you want in your bank account. And if you've never had it before, it's okay. We're going to, we're going to change your comfort level with money now. Oh gosh, you guys. <laughs> okay. That's just clearing. Um, Think of that number now. I am comfortable with this number. I'm getting a no. We're going to clear, heal, release this. I allow this money to come to me in whatever way it can eat most easily come, with, come to me without anyone getting hurt. Let's clear, heal, release that. I accept freely gifts, winnings, and any inheritances, any way money can come to me, I accept this freely. For some of us, that's a no. We're going to clear that to a yes. I'm going to see golden coins dropping down around everyone right now. I want you to, in your mind, in your imagination, in your heart, or just say yes. Open your purse, your bank account, your pocket, your wallet, wherever you would see this money going. To me, it's a vault. <laughs> I have a vault. <laughs> Not even a safety deposit box, a whole vault. <laughs> I bought a bank. <laughs> I keep my money. I'm kidding. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Uh, uh, I bring it in. I accept this with no, we have guilt, shame, with this, I get a yes. Let's clear that now. We, when we get money, we feel the need to give right away. I get a yes. We're going to clear that. And here's why. People need to manifest their own creations. And when we give our manifestations away, we're blocking them from creating their own manifestations. And I tell people all the time, teach people to manifest, don't give them things. Um, and that's that's just a fact. What you do with it is up to you, but then you end up with nothing and they end up dwindling it away because they don't respect it. And then everybody's back where we started. And all, all bad luck 
has cleared, healed, released from me. And I'm going to add on all superstitions have cleared, healed, and released from us. I get a no. Let's clear, heal, release that. And then the last one, I think it's the last one. The last one I am going to add is I am comfortable having my ideal amount of money at all times. I'm getting a no for you guys, so let's clear that. My comfort zone with money increases by the month. I get a no, let's increase that. Now I need you to do me a favor just real quick. The amount of money that you have, it feels like a big responsibility. Let's heal, clear, release that. Having a large amount of money scares you. I get a yes, let's heal, clear, release that. Amen and hallelujah. Okay, you guys, I love that for you. Please, that is right at the beginning of the show. You can watch the beginning of this show every single day until you have everything you want and more. Please do it. It is for you. I'm going to do one more on the money front. I know exactly what to do, who to talk to, where to go, and how to achieve my financial goals. I get a no. I am comfortable being financially secure. I get a no. Let's clear, heal, and release that. Now, you might think that those last two, uh, that last one, comfortable being financially secure is a, a bit of a joke, but it's really not. That's no joke. Um, when you were brought up a certain way, or even when you go to college and you're struggling, or when you get your first job and you're, you're trying to manage and struggle, that's a pattern that creates. And that's a belief system that creates. So now we're going to clear one more thing. We're going to heal all poverty beliefs and programs have been cleared, healed, and released. I get a no, and let's clear, heal, release that. You guys, I'm going to be listening to this one every morning, every single morning. Anybody in it with me? Okay, now we're going to get to the psychic part of the show. I am still going to do names and songs because this is a really important part of the show. Some people never get to call in or listen to the show live. And this is a confirmation for them also that their loved ones are with them. Their loved ones are around them. The first name I am getting, um, I'm going to do names. Now, this could be your name. This could be your loved one's name. It could be your name and then your loved one's name. Um, it could be the name of somebody like your child, your grandchild, whatever it is. Um, whatever name it is, if you know the name, you know it. It's your name. Now, if I get a name and it fits you and if it's another person, it's for both of you because let me tell you, they are all around us all of the time. So the first name I'm getting is Paul. The next name I'm getting is uh, jo John, Jana, John, Jana, J O H N A, Jana. And the next name, I, okay, the next name I'm getting is Anne. And Luis, now Anne Luis could be two different names or it could be one name. I'm getting Mary Beth. I am getting Teresa, Guadalupe. I can't believe I said that name so easily. <laughs> Rodrigo, uh, Rebecca, Ronald. I'm getting the name... Je Jennifer, I'm getting the name, Jerome, Lila, Margaret, couple more names, Brad, and one more name, anybody else, Ellen. Ellen. Okay, those are the names that I'm getting. Now I'm going to do songs. Now these songs are very important also. Um, even though they're a little goofy and I may laugh while I do them and I cannot sing, 
So thank you all. Thank you all so much for putting up with that. Um, the songs are, they can be an answer to a question that you're, you're having about your life or any aspect of your life right now. They can be a song that your loved one loved. Um, they can be a song that you listen to with your loved one, or you just knew they loved or your, your song. And then, you know, that some, you know, it's just a confirmation for you. So here we go with the songs. The first song is I'm all out. Of, I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. <laughs> oh, my sarcasm is at an all time high. I'm not lost without anybody. I'm lost when I'm with people. <laughs> okay, next song. Um, uh, okay, young teacher, the subject of schoolgirl fantasy. She wants him so badly knows what she wants to be i we all know that i think that's the i'm pretty positive that's a place i'm hearing in excess suicide blonde i am but anything by in excess i'm hearing also um roxane that song i'm not going to try to sing it because that's all i could do with that so we're not going to torture anybody any further um I, I, I'll never be a beast of burden. Never, 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 never. And then um, the next song that I'm getting is, oh, oh I want to clap with this song. Oh, shh. okay, come on, come on, come. Bring me the words. Um, Spirit in the sky, that's where I'm going to go when I die. I got a friend in G. Yes, I know I missed a whole verse, words, all of it. Doesn't matter. There it is. The next song I'm getting is um, We Don't Need No Education. Okay, it doesn't do that in the song, and I know it, but yeah, that's my nervousness. We don't need no thought control government. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> okay. Can I just change the words? We don't need no politicians. We don't need no government. <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry, you guys. If you know, if you're here, you're here. I'm just saying, if we can be trusted to run our own lives. <laughs> I am not laundering money to another country. Is anybody else laundering money to another country in the name of a war? I didn't think so. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stop that now before they cut my show. <laughs> okay, um, one more song. I'm going to do one more song. Um, girls just want to have fun. So, okay, if those songs hit, please know that those songs are for you, for them. Um, and they are a confirmation that you are not alone. Your loved ones are with you. Okay, so now I'm going to do one more segment to the show that I normally this is new, so I'm going to do it. Um, confirmation signs and symbols that you would get. So the, the first one is ladybugs. The second one is butterflies. The second one is uh, lilies, any kind of lilies. I'm seeing sunflowers. Um, really, I could go through every flower, but the dandelions, um, those, I, I, can't, I don't know what they're called, but they're the white flower we always see them at funerals and they kind of look like a side of a of a like they're a, i don't know what they're called i need to look them up so i can start using their name oh and then um the merengue merengue and then the next i don't even know if that's a flower folks i do not know it doesn't have to be because it's a symbol okay somebody else's uh confirmation when you see this you know your loved one is near is a dove the next one is um finches and um cardinals of course cardinals oh my goodness cardinals um bluebirds um and then um 
somebody's black lab is here. Oh, I just want to grab it and hug it. Oh, somebody's black lab is here. So if you've lost a black lab, your black lab is like just playing and pouncing and a, a big um, poodle. Also, there's a uh, like a, I don't know if it's called a standard poodle, but it's not a little poodle. It's the bigger poodle. Um, it's like, a yeah, so that's here too. Okay. Um, and then, so uh, another confirmation that you get some for someone a confirmation i'm going to just do two more confirmations and then we're going to go on to callers and if you would like to call in the number is 845-277-9131 or you can pop a question in the chat uh the 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 next confirmation i get I, it's a tree. Oh, like, okay. Like that. It's a tree, like a regular tree, but, and then big white flowers hang off of it. Like the tree grows these big white flowers make, and then magnolias, magnolias. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Tanita. Thank you for joining the show. Um, uh, Rebecca, welcome, Fawn. Hey, okay, everybody, here we go. Amy is here with us. I think at some point, I Mystic Raven. Hey, Mystic Raven, how are you? Genevieve, so happy to see you here. Okay, you guys, let's get started with callers and questions. If you have a question, please post it. And I'm going to take the very first caller, who is 780. 780, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, it's Jay calling from Canada. Thanks for taking my call on this Labor Day. Hey, Jay, how are you? I'm pretty good at myself. So wild, what a wild <laughs> laughter, full laughter, getting the show. So, <laughs> yeah, lots of fun. So, Jay, what's going on with you? What would you like to ask? Where would you like to take this conversation? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I just wonder about my, you know, people on the other side, but maybe my mom usually. Uh, anything that she has to say to me right now that's the most important because I just feel that um, I'm on this journey and I'm getting a lot of persuasions from people trying to sidetrack me right now. Um <laughs> unbelievable how much uh, people are trying to do that to me um so but i uh, just wondered uh regarding you know staying on the path that i'm on right now and uh you know preparing for lots of things right now okay so that's the, my question the biggest thing i hear is stay the course and i'm also hearing jay whatever you're doing um on the side meaning you know you have your regular job maybe and then uh, what you do on the side, whether it's a habit or uh, I mean a hobby, maybe it's a habit. It, my hobbies are my habits. Um, just double down on them. Just double down on them and in them. And what I'm also hearing is you're going to need to stay strong over the next three to four months and then things will subside a little bit. Um, don't be dissuaded. Don't be um, taken any place. Like I like what they're showing me, Jay, and it's 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 a little bit funny for me, is what they're showing me is like if you're getting on a bus and you're standing, you're standing on a corner to wait to get on a bus. OK, and then but this is a bus stop for three different routes and make sure you're paying attention to what bus you get on, because you don't want to get on a bus and sit down and then you know, down the road, go, wait a minute, where am I? How did I get here? I, I grabbed the wrong bus. So just pay attention and feel that feeling. If it doesn't feel right, don't do it. I, you know, our, our gut is there for a reason and we have to really honor that. So Jay, that's the message I'm getting for you. And there is someone in your life right now. I'm not going to be able to give you their name, but there is a person in your life right now that is really being a little bit, and they're using the word hellacious. 
and th that you just need to I'm just going to say it the way I'm hearing it, and hopefully it makes sense. Temper back and uh, have healthy guidelines or boundaries with this person. Okay, Jay? Okay. Okay. And I was going to ask you, well, hellacious, what does that mean? Sorry. I don't see that's a thing. Um, I d I'm not really sure. If I had to guess, I would be like, I would probably say a little hell-like or troublesome if I had to guess, but I would Google that word. Um, okay. I'm not. Sometimes they, they use a lot of statements and words that I don't use regularly, so I'm not really familiar with that. Okay, okay. okay. So what I would say, and that's, you know, that's another way I know I'm really channeling is because I'm like, oh gosh, can you use words? Can you use a kindergarten vocabulary for me, please? Um, but what I'm getting is whomever this person is that you need to just have very strong boundaries with this person. And if you can't have strong boundaries, just back away the amount of time or energy or whatever that you are putting into and with this person. Okay. Okay. Excellent, Jay. I hope this was helpful for you. Yes, it was. Always, always grateful for your wisdom and humor and keep the <laughs> momentum going in your own life and everybody else's. So, thank you so much for your wisdom. Thank you so much, Jay. I'm thank always you. happy to hear from you and to know you're still, um, still part of the group here and the family. And thank you so much for calling in. Good luck. Thanks to you, too. Awesome. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, everybody, I'm going to take a question online. And the first question I see, hey, Maris, how are you? Um, oh, yeah, Rebecca, dragonflies. That's a really big one, too. Dragonflies are huge. You guys, I'm actually hearing two more names, the name Evelyn and the name Rita, R-I-T-A. So if those are your peeps or that's you, know that you're getting a confirmation. Tainita, I would like a message from my boyfriend in spirit, please, in South Africa. It's a bit difficult to call you. So Tainita, your boyfriend, um, yeah, um, the first thing I hear for you, Tainita, is Rico. Was that his name? And I think I gave you a message on the last show. I don't mind giving you a message again. Um, was his name Rico? Because when I hear Rico, that could be a name, a nickname, or it could be something else. So, Tainita, if you could just tell me his name again, um, that would be very, very helpful. I would love that. Thank you. Uh, Ricardo. Yeah, Rico. Well, okay. R Rico could be a short. Okay. So Rico wants to say, um, the first thing that he wants to say to you, Tanita, is, um, you were his, well, okay. The way I'm hearing this, I'm going to say this and I, you were his favorite. You were his everything. Um, please don't, please don't hold on to the pain too long. Remember the good times, the fun times, the laughter. Don't, um, don't, don't, um, <laughs> I, I am going to giggle while I say this, but people won't think it's funny. Let the next person, even if you're not thinking of a next person, um, let it be a good person. Uh, somebody uh, not so much like him. I'm getting a clean, clean cut is what I'm hearing. Uh, um, uh, like has bus has a normal business is what I'm hearing. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tanita. I know this is a very sensitive subject, but but the way he's saying it to me, I just can't help but giggle about it a bit. Okay, and then the other thing he wants to say is you were right all along. He should have listened. 
And then also, um, that, that he's going to be with you. He's going to be with you and, um, and good, good looking out, good looking out. Like you watched out for him all the time and thank you. And, um, don't let the, the pain, don't let the pain of his leaving be the focus of the time you, oh, I love this message. Oh my gosh. For anybody who's ever lost anyone, listen to this now. Don't let the pain of his passing or leaving be the focus of your memories of him or your feelings. There were this time, all of this time and memories and goodness together. Don't let the the, the pain of the leaving take all of that away or be the only be the focus point it's natural and normal to be uh, having pain at this time but don't let that take it over anytime you think sadly about this go to good thoughts and happiness and joy you know what I Tanita, I'm gonna say that is so true even in a breakup like even when we break up with somebody, the pain of the breakup can be so overwhelming. But just go to the good memories and realize it wasn't for nothing. There was a lot of goodness, a lot of love there. And in the end, if it didn't work out, that's okay. At least you have all the goodness there. And um, And just... Uh, it, it, it's okay to grieve and it's okay to cry and it's okay to be sad, but also remember all the goodness of it. Okay. That's really so important. That's really so important. I'm going to go to caller 216. 216, what's your name and where are you calling from? Two one six. Okay, to, uh, I think she said hi, but I don't, I'm going to come back to you, 216. I'm going to go to 520. 520, what's hi. your name? Hi. hi. That's how we do it. Hello. That is exactly how we do it. As soon as I say something, you're there. How can I help you that today, love? Hi. I, I just wondered what you saw for my love life, please. <laughs> Okay, um, rather than me ask and wait for the answers, I'm just going to ask you, are you single right now? Yeah. I I was getting a yes. I just want to confirm that because sometimes I'll get a, I'll get a no and there's a person involved and I'll be like, oh, spirit doesn't think so. <laughs> spirit would strongly disagree with that. But I was getting a yes. Okay. Um, I feel like, okay, I, I don't know why they want to cover this. Have you been sick? Okay, something's been okay. Never mind. The past doesn't matter. We're just moving forward. Okay. So what I'm getting is if the past comes back, say no. Um, don't don't even entertain it. It's not worth it. You're not going to get. It's going to be just the same old merry-go-round. And um, you'll end up right back where you are, okay? So don't don't entertain the past. It's time to move forward with um, with excitement. So for anybody who's recently gone through a breakup or is trying to let go of the past, we have let go of the past. I get a no. Let's heal, clear, release that. Oh, okay. And we have recovered and healed from all of the past. And I get a no, so let's heal, clear, release that. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you. There's someone coming in in October. I'm going to tell you dates that I see. Now, these could just be days for you to watch out for, lucky days, days when you meet the person or have a date. I don't know. I'm just going to give you... Days and the timeline can be a little off if something comes up in their life or your life. Just saying. So as of right now, October, and then I'm seeing the 14th, and I'm also seeing the 
second, but I'm hearing the sixth or the 26th. So these are three or four days in October for you to pay attention to. And you can come back and re-listen to this and mark them on, you know, just put, put a circle or mark them on a calendar. Um, I feel like in the mid-October, you have the potential to meet somebody. Your, your ability to meet this person is going to depend on your eagerness to get out. <laughs> and that is exactly how they are saying it to me. And your ability to meet somebody is going to depend on being um, active in what's going on. Meaning put the phone down, put the tablet down, look around, be involved in whatever place you are at. Okay. Um, so the, yeah. the next thing that I'm getting is you might now, if, if I'm, I'm seeing this, I'm not telling you what to do with your life. People get really up. Some people don't, don't like this, but I'm just going to say it. What I'm seeing you, I'm seeing a gym, like a workout facility, like an exercise place. Um, so either there, either you have the potential to meet this person at a gym or this person likes to work out a lot or you, you might work out. And I'm not going to say they're telling you to work out. <laughs> I, I will I will not say that because you are a full-grown adult. You put on your big girl panties every day and you know what you need. I don't need to tell you that. But I what I am. I, so, okay. So I feel like, thank you. Um, I feel like there's the potential for you to meet this person at a workout place or a gym. I'm just going to say a gym. Now, what I'm going to say, if you've been working out at the same gym for a hot minute or whatever, wherever you work out, some people like work out outside, um, it, wherever you work out, if it's, it might be picking up there soon because for some people, if you're in a place where the weather changes, um, they start to migrate in for their indoor workouts as opposed to outdoor workouts. But I'm getting you should be working out at a place where it is um, and at a time when there are uh, uh, potential opposite sex or potential partners there. So like some people work out at a Pilates place and it's all women. I'm like, well, you're not going to meet. You're not going to meet a dude there if you want a dude. If you want a dude, that is not the place to be working out. Switch it up. Go, go, you know, alternate or whatever you need to do. Not that everybody meets somebody at the gym. I can't think if you love to work out, I can't think of a better place to meet somebody, though, because you already have that. And that is awesome. So if there's nobody at your gym and you've been there for a bit of time, and mid-October works around, works its way around, don't worry. Somebody might surprise you. Now, if it's not specifically at the gym, it might be something you do pre or post gym. Now, for some reason, they're showing this. All I'm going to say is keep your workout strong and keep uh, uh, when you, if it's at the gym, if it's at a cafe, if it's at a, a pumpkin farm, I don't know, apple picking, I don't know, look around, look around, look at who's looking at you because people are always looking at us. Look at who's looking at us and uh, catch, catch eyes, you know, catch those eyes. See, are they looking because my, my hair is a wreck or did I walk out of the bathroom with some toilet paper on my shoe or, oh, wait, are they interested? Do I give them a smile? Okay. So that's what I I have for you. Oh gosh, I'm such a such a dork. I love it. Okay, um, so that's what I'm getting for you. All of October, be out and about. Even the end of September, you're gonna feel this need to be have some freedom and be out. I do see also there's some travel coming, some potential travel coming in for you, and I do also see that I think it's on this travel you might have a bit of a night out dancing with friends or dancing with someone okay 
Now, I'm not sure when this travel is slated for, but I do feel like there's going to be a bit of travel coming in and it's going to be a lot of fun. You, I do see dancing. Um, and so this could be anything from traveling to a wedding, traveling uh, for a weekend getaway, a girl's little getaway, whatever it is, say yes, is what I'm getting. Say yes. I hope this was helpful. I love it. Uh, me too. <laughs> yeah, it's joyous. It's happy. I thank you. Absolutely. My pleasure. That's what I'm here for. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. And please do call back. I'll be happy to answer any questions I can for you in the future, okay? Thank you so much. You are so, so welcome. And a happy holiday. Okay, I have a couple of questions online. And 216, please hold on. I am going to get back to you in a second. Um, okay. Um, and I'm so sorry. So Anne online says, um, I was crying today because I miss my loved ones a lot. And let's, let's clear that that longing and that loneliness again we're going to do a loneliness clear and um and i am so so sorry and one thing i'm seeing for you is um you could do something that might help preoccupy you is to do puzzles or um whether they're the puzzles with the puzzle pieces you know that you do like on a table or cr crossword um or word puzzles that would help you um, if you would consider doing that. That might help to preoccupy your mind a little bit. Okay, love. Um, Allison, welcome to the show. So happy to have you here. Allison, I'm going to get get your question next. I'm going to go to 216. 216, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Patricia calling from Cruces. New Mexico. Hey, Patricia. Sorry for all the loud noise, but it's... I'm at the, the shelter and it's lunchtime. Okay. So, okay. Um, I hope you can do. I can. Um, and if thanks you thanks for taking my call. Absolutely. And if you are a I... speaker, if you could um, put it just for the while we're talking, take it off of speaker. That would be great. <laughs> Put it on speaker? No, take it. Make sure it's not on speaker. Because there is a okay. bit of background noise. Have so it close to my ear. Okay, Patricia. Uh, can you hear me now? I can. And how can I help you today, love? How can I okay, help you? Okay, I can barely hear you, but as long as you can hear me. Okay. Um, uh -huh. I'd like to ask, I've been researching my last conversation with you last week, trying to determine what the city for me to move to from Las Cruces. And um, <clears throat> what do you, let's see, the couple of uh, Silver City, um, uh, let's see, what else? Did um, you say Silver City? Uh, Emmy, uh, oh no, Ascension and Silver City. Would S those be? Silver. Uh, so, good city for towns to live in. Okay, so the funny thing is, I was going to tell you what I'm seeing. The city starts with an S, like Sam. So, so yes, I get a confirmation on Silver City. Absolutely. Now, before you go there, research what amenities they would have available for you and how they how you are going and their work, what what type of work or wh their cost of living and stuff like that. OK, love. OK, sweetie. Is I can barely hear you and I'm going to I'm I'm just gonna mute because there is a bit of background noise. But Patricia, I do want to say to you the the city, just in case you didn't hear it and you can re-listen to this, the 
I am seeing a city that starts with an S, but you must first, you know, make sure that there's a place for you to stay when you get there. Look up what their cost of living, like their monthly rent is, and also look up what, um, oh, goodness gracious, what, um, what their work situation is, unless you can find something online and it doesn't matter the local work, but find something in, uh, with Silver City and also look at, um, okay, thank you. Uh, positions where when people go out of town and they want some house sitters, house sitters and dog sitters and dog walkers, um, all of that stuff, look it up now and see what you can set up. Um, and then also be looking for remote positions and whatever else it is that you can find. Okay, love. Uh, we are all praying for you, Patricia, to find the right fit for you. Okay. Hey, Kavita, how are you today? I'm going to go back and uh, read Allison's. Um, Allison's um, statement, hellacious means exceptionally powerful, difficult, or loud. <laughs> Traffic is hellacious in California. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. And I, I, you know what? I was getting that sense, but thank you so much, love. Thank you for putting that. Oh my gosh, Mimi, if you did not get the beginning of the show, please go back and um, listen to it. It is amazing. And I think it will, you will love it. Um, Mimi, I, I just, so happy to see you here today. Um, Kavita, hi, Tony Wood. Love a message about love life. Hope all is well. Um, okay. Kavita is single. I'm getting a yes. Kavita, if you're single, confirm that you are single. I'm getting B R O N S W I. CK Bronswick, Bronswick, I don't know what that means for you. I, if that's a name or a place, I'm getting October, I see the number two and 28. Kavita, I'm getting, you are going to have, um, and November 3rd, <clears throat> November 3rd. So I am getting, as far as love life goes, um, and let me do this, anything stopping or blocking us from meeting that person that is perfect for us has been cleared, I get a no. Now, I, I wanna, I don't have a lot of time left, but what I do want to say is, um, if past relationships have not really worked out, my my very dear friend, Michelle, that lives in um, Florida, said to me, you know, sometimes you have to change in your mind what you believe a man is or what you believe a partner is what you believe a partner shows up to do and how they're supposed to do it. Because there are many of us that grew up in single family homes and we believe we are just supposed to do everything. Or if our father was gone a lot uh, and we watched our mother just do everything, we attract men that may be in the same place where they think, well, my mom did it, you can do it, or they just allow us to do everything. And we really have to change that mindset, that whole belief and programming to this is what men or the mass, I'm just going to use man and woman. This is what the man does in a relationship. And this is what I would like a man to do in a relationship. And this is what 
I'm going to do in the relationship, but also what we want that relationship to look like. We're so hooked on just being in love and yada, yada. You know, do we want date nights? Do we want what's important to us with the relationship itself as well as the person? Those are such important things. Okay, Mystic Raven, let's see. I'm loving your show. Oh, thank you. I love that you're here with us. Thank you. Can you please tell me when am I going to have a baby? Is it going to be a healthy baby? Um, it's gender. Oh, I usually allow one question, Mystic Raven, but I'm going to uh, try to do, because it's all about a baby, I'm going to try to do what I can on this. Anything my baby wants me to know to help come to this side. Yeah, be patient is the first thing. Um, now, remember, all I, I believe all babies start as girls and then some of them become boys. But anyway, I'm not, I can't remember that fact. Uh, clearly right now. Okay. So when are you going to have a baby? Now, as everything sits right now, I hear in a year's time, I don't know if you're going to get pregnant in a year's time, or you're literally going to give birth in a year's time. I hear June is going to be significant. I am seeing, is she going to have more than one baby? You're going to have, if you don't already have a baby, your children, you're going to have more than one, not at once. I don't think this is at once, but I do feel like there, there, you will have more than one child. Um, I'm not saying twins, twins, twins or triplets. I'm saying like, um, like you, you might have a girl and then a boy. Okay. Um, no, or, or twins. I don't know. Je June, Gemini twins, crazy, crazy little Geminis. I know I'm, I'm one. Um, it's going to be healthy. It's going to be extremely healthy. Um, the one thing that the baby would want you to do is to spend a lot of time communicating with the baby in vitro, in womb, um, like an adult. And this baby is going to come into the world <laughs> kind of full, <laughs> like very mature. <laughs> Very mature and very, um, um, I'm going to use the word spicy, but it doesn't mean what, the way I would say it is this baby's going to come in with a lot of knowing about a lot and it will not shut its mouth. It's not going to be able to uh, be afraid to say the truth. The truth being the knowing from the other side. Yep. Um, and it will speak it clearly to anyone and everyone. Don't, don't stop that. Allow that. Maybe not in a spicy way, but allow it. Diplomatic, diplomatically. Allow it to speak diplomatically. Um, I do think... Now, I know you're going to have a girl. I'm not sure if it's going to be the first child. They're not being specific. I know there's going to be a girl, though. Big eyes, really big eyes. And I'm hearing the word anomaly. Like it's an anomaly. Like, Maybe because of its mystical, magical, spicy knowing, but there's an anomaly, okay? Um, I do feel like you're going to be really happy and you're going to be very pleased. I think the baby, now I want, I, I need you to come back and tell me this when you have this baby. I feel like the baby's going to be seven pounds, eight ounces and 21 inches long. They are not, if it's not the first one, it's the second one. I don't know. I, this is pretty specific today. They are, they are given the details. I am just saying they are detail oriented today. Um, I, and I, I, I do, I'm trying to look at the birth card. 
I do feel like maybe you should try to have this baby at home, like a home birth or a, a water birth. I'm, I'm seeing some sort of water birth going on, which will be very, very powerful also. Um, I do feel like a doula, a doula. I think that's what it's called, a doula. You might want to start researching that now if you have not already. If I, you know, I'm going to, uh, okay, I'm going to say this for sure, for sure. Um, I would love to know the details of this. I know you're not, this is not going to be for a while, but like write all of this down and then um, let me it, it come back and let me know. I do feel like um, I am seeing two different babies. And I'm going to tell you, one has a little bit of lighter hair and it's a little thinner and one has really dark hair. Now, I'm going to say this, not dark, like a chestnut brown. What I'm going to say, Mystic Raven, is the one with the thicker brown hair, that's right, right out of the womb, like wrinkly right out of the womb. The other one with the little bit of lighter hair is a little bit older, so this could be the same baby. Please don't, don't uh, 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 think that I'm, it could be the same baby, okay? I was born with black curly hair and teeth in my mouth and dark skin. And look at me now. Um, okay, so that's what I'm getting. Uh, You've been trying to conceive for a while. Okay, what I'm getting, relax. Oh, gosh, I don't like when people say that to me, but it flew out of my mouth. Relax a bit. It's going to happen. Remember, here's what I'm going to say. Just like there's a timing to everything, to our passing, to our coming in. There's a certain, you know, sign we're supposed to be, a certain set of circumstances we're supposed to be born into um, for our life partners. Oh, excuse me, for our life partners, for our work, for everything. Um, so no, it's going to happen. That takes 90% of the pressure off and allow for it to happen when it's supposed to. We'll do a clearing now. Any There's something stopping or blocking her. Let's clear that. All that caused and kept this. Let's heal, clear, release that. She's ready. Let's heal, clear, release anything and everything in the way of this. Your baby already talks to you. That's what else I can say, love. Your baby is already connecting and talking with you. So it is close. It's not even in heaven in somebody's arms. Like you might find out your I'm just going to say, usually when I see a baby coming in, it's in heaven and one of our ancestors' arms. But this one I see around you, which tells me it's close to, it's, it's, the timing is close. Okay, so have faith. Okay, you guys, let's do this real quick. Um, my books, What If, a Transformational Guide. Uh, channeled messages from above two, and channeled messages from above. All of them are available um, if you click the info box uh, on my at my Amazon. They're all available on Amazon on my um, author page. And also, thank you so much for being here. I love each and every one of you so much. Happy holiday for those of us celebrating it. Thank you to everybody who's liked, subscribed. I'll be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. If you did not get your call answered, seconds. if you did not get your question answered, please come back. I And even if you did, come back anyway. Ask more questions. We will get everything answered and get you squared away. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I love each and every one of you. Have an absolutely amazing rest of the day.